Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a very, very dull um, Monday here. Mildly risk on. Currency's not really doing too much. Uh, weirdly, Dollar Max is up uh, half a percent. Doesn't make much sense with oil higher and risk sort of marginally risk on. Um, but anyway, dollar uh, dollar max is up half percent. That's your biggest mover. Kiwi yen, sort of a risk on proxy up near the, near its highs. Just waiting for this trend line still in Kiwi yen. Uh, let's talk about Bitcoin first and foremost. Broke through 60 uh, over the weekend. We talked about that on uh, Friday. I said this thing's a ripe uh, 61.7, the high. But now we're back below 60, which isn't the greatest um, price action. Down to 59.081 yesterday. Um, today we've been down to 58.7. This is not the kind of breakout price action that you would be expecting if you had to break through the all-time highs with with a surge of activity. Uh, we don't like buying this up here, uh, just like we don't, we don't like buying stocks through 60. Um, we're waiting for these assets to turn, and we'll just patiently wait um, in the meantime, see how we go. I guess the most important uh, chart these days is this one. There's a 10-year yield, still very, very big, 163 and a half. Hard to see how stocks can hold up today uh, as this edges towards 170. 170 looks on the cards uh, this week. Obviously, you have FOMC. They will try to talk this down with some sort of yield curve control. Um, you just got to decide whether they whether they can do it, whether they can uh, unsteepen this curve. Uh, surely the market's going to test them, so you get the feeling 170 is on the cards before uh, Jay Powell uh, gets on the turntable. So I have feeling we're going to be risk off dollar bid going into the week, and then FOMC may change that. Uh, and if it doesn't change that, uh, then there's a problem. Uh, so that's really your big risk point. Let's watch for that midweek. For now, I don't even need to go through these currencies. It's just a waste of fucking time. I mean, uh, euro in the middle of the recent range. Cable hasn't moved at all, around 139. Dollar Swiss, dick in a box at 93. Double O. Dollar yen, I guess, is interesting because we're, we're getting ready to sell dollar yen. So we're waiting for 110 to print, uh, and then we'll sell. We're inching back up there, 109.20. Um, and this is driven by U.S. yields. All this cross shit and all of this uh, commodity stuff is really not moving. It's really not interesting. Uh, dollar Rand went up to 03, 03.13. Not really interesting here at 95. If the dollar stays bid, uh, Dollar Rand will go higher. It's mildly interesting that... Uh, Dollar China is back above 51, but again, middle of the range. Keep it in your pants, people. As you can see, not much to do today. Weird day in equities. Uh, Friday looked looked really, really offered down there at 3,900, um, but then ended up closing at 3,930. It's an the inside day, not super meaningful. Uh, we did close, uh, we did open and move higher today, 47.5 is the high, but now we're back right at the closing area. Not much to do here. If you're bullish, you're going to buy through 60. Um, I'm not bullish, uh, so I will not be doing that. And if you're bearish, uh, you're going to start, you know, your big bear pivot, I think, is 38.90 on the week. Um, but Wednesday is going to really decide this, I think. See what Powell says. Is the risk off going to test Powell and force him to be dovish? Maybe. That's kind of the trend that usually happens in the market. So the market will start trading down Monday, Tuesday, heading into FOMC. And then, you know, Powell going into the meeting and there'll be a little bit of a nervousness as to where yields are and where rates are. Um, that's a scenario that I could foresee.
Um, another scenario that I could foresee is no trading today. There's no levels. There's nothing interesting. There's nothing close. Um, you know, we know these levels in Kiwi and Kiwi Yen downside. We just talked about ES. We are not short Bitcoin. We would never short Bitcoin. Um, but we're also not long. So if you're not short and if you're not long, for those of you who are playing at home, that means you're square. So that's my recommendation right here today. Looks dull as dishwater. Stay out of it. Uh, wait for five star setups. Uh, that's all I got for you. Good luck, peeps. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.